Hi everyone, it's Tris. I hope that you're doing well. And if you're not doing well, that's okay too. Just know that it's temporary. I am at the Holographic Healing Nest, which is a beautiful healing center here in Berlin, Germany. This is where I am seeing clients at the moment and I am so blessed because it's such a beautiful space. Now, if you don't know who I am, hello. My name is Tristan Skye and I'm a professional and certified healer, channeler and astrologer. And today I will be doing some channeling for you because I will be reading tarot and oracle cards for everyone watching. So how this is going to work is that I am doing three different groups or four, three or four groups of cards and you're going to intuitively choose a number between one and four, okay? And today's pick a card reading is on what makes you amazing. Why are you attractive? Why are you amazing? Why are you so cool? What do people like about you? This is what today's pick a card reading will be about. And right now, as I am speaking, we are all divinely guided. We all have a team of spirit guides, of guardian angels, archangels, and past loved ones who support us, who protect us. So call them in now intuitively. Just be like, hey, spirit team, step forward, okay? Because um, even if you don't know what they look like, you don't know what they are, don't know what I'm talking about, just go with it and pretend that they're there or just trust that they're there. So now that we have connected to our hearts, we called in our spirit team. I now ask you to choose a number between one and four, okay? So cards one, cards two, cards three, or cards four. What sparks you up? What makes your body vibrate? You know, what resonates to you? Cards one, cards two, cards three, or cards four? So I will start with group number one, and then group two, group three, and group four. Of course, these are grouped messages, so they might be a bit broad or very open to interpretation. So please take what resonates, okay? If it makes sense, take it, absolutely. But if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't resonate, then don't take it in. Just be like, nope, that's, that's not it. And of course, I am accepting clients worldwide. So no matter where you are in the world, we can connect through Zoom. Or if you're in Berlin right now, you can come see me in person. So hi, group number one. I am pulling your cards right now. So thank your spirit team for delivering you this message or for pointing you in the right direction towards this message because then these messages will be for you. So let's look at the pretty little cards. So the first card is wolf. Cool. So let's just see. I'm just going to feel the energy of the cards and let's just see what um, comes up. So you're amazing, group number one, because you're authentic and true to you. I feel like you're really cool is the word that's coming up. It seems that group number one people have a strength within and they just do what they want to do. I don't know, perhaps you are a bit offbeat, right? You're a bit uh, different than everyone else, it seems, and in a cool way. You're amazing because you don't listen to anyone else. There's something about you being the leader of your own life and how you create your own life not so much of a follower, you're not a sheep, you don't follow other people's rules, is that you do your own thing. And that's what makes you so cool and attractive. People are like, wow, look at this person just doing their own thing. You seem to be very strong or you appear to be strong that, to everyone else. Everyone looks at you and is like, wow, this person has their stuff together or is a leader or is strong. Big, big themes here of authenticity is that you are always yourself. You don't like to be a sheep like everyone else. You're a beautiful wolf and you do your own thing. Your determination, your courage, it's very noticeable to everyone else. But you might not even care. You, you might not even care that you people are attracted to you, I'm feeling. It's like you're just doing your own thing. If people like you, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. So very, very cool vibes, group number one with the wolf. I love it. So your second card here is swan. Okay. I feel that perhaps group number one, people, you don't like to be in the spotlight. You don't like too much attention. You kind of like to just be in the sidelines. They want you to know that you're beautiful, okay? That you have a radiating, beautiful energy. My gosh, you're gorgeous, group number one. It's just the energy I'm feeling. They want you to know that it's okay, you know, to be feminine, let that beauty out, okay? They want you to know that, yes, you're the cool wolf. But you're also a beautiful little swan, okay? So make sure you let out this beauty, okay? So group number one, I pulled your last card and your card is Earthed. It's really pretty. So let's connect here. 
You guys are on a beautiful journey spiritually, but also career-wise or work-related. work, work related. And all the work that you're doing on this earth is so beautiful and it's what makes you so cool. It's that you are putting in the work to help a lot of people. And not even just to help people, but to really help yourself. You know, there's like a career-orientated energy here or school, finishing school, it seems that you're getting all this work done here on earth. It really connects well to the wolf card. Group number one, you guys are independent, fearless, courageous, and hardworking. And if you think you're not those things, it's time to know that you are those things, okay? So know that you are so amazing and let other people notice it. And I'm so proud of you, group number one. I'm so excited for all the work you're going to do. Well, thank you so much, group number one. I thought, I hope you thought this was helpful. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, let me know or book directly on my website, www.tristansky.com. I love you all so much. Take care. Bye. Hi, group number two. I am pulling your cards right now. So thank your spirit team for directing you towards these messages today. Give them a thanks. Gratitude's a good energy to send out. So the first card we have is Swan. So I mean, just connect with the energy of the cards and connect with spirits and see what the message is, is here. So you are amazing, group number two, because you see yourself as a beautiful person. You see the beauty within. You radiate beauty. My gosh, you're such a beautiful person, group number two people. Wow. All I can see is that... There's a sunny side up energy here. There's a sense of really appreciating the beauty of life and how you see the beauty in other people and you see the beauty within yourself, that you are truly a beautiful person. Okay, group number two. You know, it doesn't mean it's about clothes and hair and makeup, although I love all those things. It's saying your energy is beautiful. Okay. There's a sense of charm here. You could be very charming as well, making other people feel good. There's a sense that your beauty is contagious, that your energy, your aura, people walk by you and they feel the beauty. You seem to have a lovely energy. Is that, that's how I can describe it. There's something very pleasurable and kind and a bit playful here. It seems that you just have a beautiful, loving energy, group number two. For group number two, your second card here is Jackal. What a cool card. So let's connect. If ever you feel like interesting, it's really, wow. So you are so beautiful and kind, but they want you to know, they want you to know to always speak your truth, okay? To always say what you need to say. Even if you are upset to hurt other people's feelings, you must always speak your truth, okay? Group number two, once you find that ability of, you know, the one side, the yin, the beauty and the feminine, but also mastering the yang, the masculine of really being assertive and saying what you'd like to say, you're going to be unstoppable, group number two. I want you to know that hiding is not good for you in a way. It's like, don't hide yourself. Don't put yourself back. Really step forward. Step into the light radiate as bright as you can be. And they want you to know that it's okay if not everything is figured out. If you haven't figured out everything about life and there's still things questioning about, it doesn't matter. You can still live with rose colored glasses on. So one thing that makes you super, super amazing is that you're not power hungry, okay? The sense of power to you is not important or you're learning about power where power comes from within. You know, authority comes from within. A lot of people can have a false sense of power with control, but you don't. One thing your spirit guides like and why you are so amazing is that you choose the light. You choose peace. You choose to not dance in the darkness, but to stay a beautiful and bright white swan. So here is your last card, group number two, and I, it makes a lot of sense, I think. It's double mission. So it says, light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you. I was able to see with these first two cards that we have like a really big bright light here and then a darker, more intense, powerful energy here. And group number two, people, you are meant to spread the light within the world. You are a light worker, probably a star seed. You emanate beautiful white light and you are meant to share that light with others. That's why you're so beautiful and that's why your energy is so contagious. It's that... You have a divine light within that's so cool. You are 
meant to express all the beauty around you. You're meant to help people. You are meant to, almost like a healer, yeah, you're meant to just heal the people around you, even strangers, smiling at strangers. There's a sense of old soul here, group number two, but there's like a sense of knowing how beautiful and amazing the world is, but also knowing that the world can be a bit dark and scary. So they're congratulating you for always choosing the light, the brightness within, and to really help other people with your energy. That seems to be the thing here. It's like, it's about energy. So it's not about just the way you look and your human self, but your, you know, your fifth dimensional body, you know, your spiritual body, your emotional body is what makes you so amazing, not just the physical human body. So group number two, oh, there's something else. And if you didn't know you're a light worker, here's your message. You are. You're on a double mission. You're here to, you know, live the human experience and cook food and get a job and, you know, do all that stuff, but also to spread light around the world. Okay? So group number two, I love you all so much. I hope you thought this was helpful. I wish you a beautiful week. Goodbye. Hi, group number three. So I will be pulling cards for you as to why you're amazing, what makes you so awesome. So thank your spirit team, your spirit guides for directing you towards this message today. Okay, so group number three, your first card is Polar Bear. Super cool. So let me connect with the energy of the cards. Let me connect with spirit and see what I see with my clairvoyance. So there's a sense of being reliable here or being seen for your wisdom or insights. It seems that people can count on you for guidance, for advice. You seem to be reliable. You can help a lot of people and that is what people like about you. There's a sense of not being selfish with your needs. It seems that you're not very selfish but really like to help others. And there's a maturity here. You're a guiding light for so many people and that's what makes you so amazing. And for group number three, a huge sense of accomplishments. So I don't know if you just did something amazing, just accomplished something, or you're just into accomplishing a lot of things, but there's a sense of accomplishment here for you guys. And a sense of uh, intimacy, not just like romantic intimacy, but it's like you like to connect to people one-on-one, -on -one, or you really like to see eye to eye to people. Like there's this, it's not just like, oh, let's just all have a good time. There's a sense that you really like to get to know someone on like a spiritual intense level and that's what makes you so cool. Like there's something very serious and magnificent about you. So I'm going to pull your second card. Chameleon. The word here is change. So let me connect. <laughs> So they want you to know that it's, so to be a bit more mutable, okay, and a bit more flexible, okay, with your energy, that it's okay to try something new. Like with polar bear, it's that there's a sense of traditionalism that you may have and a sense of, yeah, tradition and doing things properly and being reliable, but they like you to dance with this chameleon, dance with the colors, dance with the change, dance with the new, dance with the young. So like young, new, change, mutable. These are all energies you can start to work with a little bit more. You can see the polar bear, it's cold, it's hard, it's a bit harsh, which is, there's a lot of pros to that. This is warm and tropical and colorful. They want you to merge these two together, be a polar bear chameleon. So my word of advice is that if people see you as a guiding light, people see you as a you know fountain of wisdom i think it's time to find other people you can collect wisdom from be the student now be the learner okay it's time to flip the roles a bit okay because once you have both energies of the reliable and the wisdom giver but also the learner and wisdom gainer is, <laughs> is the best words i can use you are going to be so unstoppable and you're so amazing how you're going to have all everything. So your last card is, oh, cool. Your life is a canvas. <gasps> oh my God, look how pretty. Oh my gosh. It says artist manifestation, creative accountability. Oh, I love, I love it. It's all connected, isn't it? All connected. Okay. So let's see here. Yeah, you must be a creative somehow. You must be an artist or something like that, group number three. 
because what makes you so amazing is that you do stuff, you create things. You have an exotic, authentic energy that is just you. And there's something that the world's not ending. There's this sense of, I just see how you connect well with opportunities and to the future and to what's next. It's that you're not super closed minded, is that the world is so big for you and that there's so much that you can do. There's so much that you can see. There's so much that you can create. So what people see in you is that sense of expansion, how you're willing to expand and it's noticeable. People are like, wow, look at this person with these big open eyes ready to see the world. And I feel a connection to spirit here. So you must be connected to spirit. You must see messages. You must feel other people on the other side. There's a sense of being really, really able to see the world as big and open and as amazing. And yeah, I'm going to assume that you are an artist or you are a creative person, if, if even just in the way you look, or you like to create things, you like to do things to create something, or creating children. Okay, so maybe someone, I don't know, maybe someone in group three wants to be a mom or a dad or something like that. Okay, so group number three, I love you all so much. You guys are so freaking cool. I love you all so much. Um, take care, goodbye. Hi, group number four. So I'm going to be pulling cards for you as to what makes you amazing. Why are you so freaking cool? So you can thank your spirit team, your spirit guides, your intuition for directing you towards this message today. Okay, so your first card is Tarantula. Ooh, spooky. What an interesting card. So I'm going to connect with the energy of the cards and through spirits and see what I see clairvoyantly, okay? Whoa, okay. Oneness, connectivity is big for you, group number four. It seems that you know that we are all connected. You see that we are all one soul breathing together, that we are all one. It seems that you really understand the human experience of how we are all connected and you see yourself in everyone and you see everyone else in you. You don't do harm to others because you know it'll come back. There's a sense of karma and truly knowing how we were all connected and we were all one. How freaking beautiful is it, group number four? Wow. And people see that about you and that's what makes you, they, okay, this, people feel seen when they're with you. It seems that you see other people and people like that because people feel seen when they're with you. You must be intuitive. I'm getting lots of intuitive sparks here. So you must have a good sight. You must have deep eyes. Um, and I think people, f and people feel good around you because you might have strong faith or the idea of like, everything's gonna be okay. Everything happens for a reason. It seems that you carry that energy, okay? Even if you're not telling people about it, you have that vibe. I see you looking up into the sky. So people like that around you because your aura, your energy has that vibe of that we're all gonna be okay. You know, everything's fine. You're a pal. I got like, like you're just like a friend, a buddy, a pal to so many people. It's that you're very friendly. How cool. So you are freaking amazing, group number four. So your second card is, ooh, Fruit Bat. What a freaking nice card. I never pulled this card before. It's the first time I see it. Wow. Okay, so let's connect with it. So it's Fruit Bat or Flying Fox. Ooh, so pretty. So they want you to know that you don't have to be solo. You don't have to do everything alone, is that you can make a lot of friends. So be as friendly as possible and talk to as many people as possible because you're so amazing, which I was able to see with the tarantula and that you see that we're all connected and you see that we're all one, but you don't have to be private or intimidated or scared or shy. They want you to know that you can make so many friends as possible and your shyness, your gentleness, that's what people like about you, okay? You carry a great warmth within very very warm not cold hearted but a warmth okay and people will feel that so even if you're shy or awkward or not saying much know that people will feel your energy even if they're not intuitive they'll be able to they'll know that you're a good person okay so that's my word of advice here is make friends go out go to a potluck do something fun okay so group number four, I have your last card. Again, so freaking beautiful. Okay, it's called Inner Earth. Oh, 
Beautiful cards for you today, group number four. So let's connect here. So throughout this whole message, I was able to feel a lot of depth, okay? You must be a very deep person, group number four. And that's what makes you super cool. There's a sense of rebirth. Oh, I'm feeling it strongly. Okay, so you are strong. You must have gone through hell and back. You must have really went to the depths of earth and then healed yourself. I'm seeing phoenixes, so rising from the ashes. I'm seeing rebirth here that you've been through a lot and that's what makes you so strong and amazing, okay? Your strength is so noticeable. Your courage is so noticeable. What makes you amazing is that you simply exist. It's that you simply walk and breathe on this earth. It's the fact that you are seen by other people. People look at you, people see you. Simply being alive is what makes you so cool. The fact that you walk here on earth confidently. It's so weird. Just the fact that you are alive is what makes you so cool. The fact that you, you just exist is what makes you so cool. The words you say, the things you think of, the things you do, the things you wear, just being you is just so freaking cool. Also, if you are mysterious, you know, a bit odd, a bit different than everyone else, be confident with it because that's what makes you so cool. I see a lot of people being attracted to you. That's what I, I'm able to see, like fans or a lot of people noticing you, that a lot of people like you. A lot of people think you're cool. A lot of people think you're amazing. Be, be aware of that or be prepared for that or know that. Know that you are so cool and people know that. And know that you are flourishing, that you are getting even better and better. You are still growing. We all are. And I just see that, wow, group number four, you guys are really cool, really amazing. I'm able to see and feel how amazing you really are. I love you. I love this so much. So thank you so much, group number four. I hope you thought this was helpful. If you'd like to book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me, let me know or just go to www.tristansky.com to book directly. I love you all so much. Take care. Goodbye.